Again, I was determined to see it through, so I did because justice. Hello, welcome or welcome back to Classics with the Court Corey. Talk about contemporary and luxury designer items and brands with a touch of silliness. This is the kind of content that you find interesting. Please do like this video and subscribe for more of it. Thank you. If you are watching this video, you've probably already seen the unboxing of this YSL Rift Slit in this beautiful Greenfield color. If you haven't, I will link that video for you above and below because it is, I believe I said, a roller coaster of emotions. It would there were there were a lot of there were a lot of feelings that occurred in that video from trepidatious to excited to kind of disappointed, but the summary gist of the entire video was I got this wristlet in the color that I've been wanting for ages and it didn't come with the wristlet strap. So this wristlet, this YSL wristlet, clutch wristlet, was supposed to come with a wristlet strap, and that's the little D-ring that it was supposed to attach to, and it was missing from the package somehow. I purchased this from Nordstrom, and it shipped quickly uh, for the most part. It was fine. It was the last one in stock, apparently, and got, arrived, <laughs> and arrived without a key piece, a key piece of the, the item. I was very conflicted, and I was obviously conflicted in the video about whether or not I should keep this piece or return it because I really wanted this color and I've been wanting this item and I've ordered it before and it was canceled and it, there, it's been a long saga to arrive at this particular juncture at, at this point in time in the adventure, which is now what? So I ended up calling Nordstrom, and this is just an update about what happened, my feelings, what I ended up deciding to do. And so the first thing I did was I, I called Nordstrom and went, hey, I bought this item. It's missing something. Can I get another one? Like, can I exchange it? Return an exchange. And I was told that it was the last one in stock and they were completely out and the style with this color had been discontinued and there's no more. So that was fun. That was a great... <laughs> Okay, sure. All right, Nordstrom. I understand styles and colors get discontinued. I don't know how this was put into the package without the strap, but considering that it arrived this way, I'm guessing that it was a return and the wristlet strap somehow got misplaced either by the person returning it and they didn't quality check or by the people packaging it up and they didn't quality check. Either way, I wasn't too fussed with the, the Nordstrom way of doing things, at least in that particular part of the purchase. And several of you commented on the video saying that you'd also had some like not so great experiences with purchasing from Nordstrom online. So that's just food for thought. That's something that's good for me to keep in mind from next time. But anyway, so I called them, couldn't exchange it. Okay, fine. They then said that this particular piece had been sent from a boutique in California, and if I wanted to, I could be transferred to that boutique, or I could call that boutique, and see if they, according to the person I talked to, just had the wristlet strap lying around somewhere. <laughs> I thought that was a kind of a silly suggestion, to be perfectly honest, but okay, I sure I will make an attempt. So I called the store and I actually had forgotten about the time difference. They're three hours behind me. So I had to call back again later when they actually did open. And I spoke to a person, a customer service representative, let's call him Dimitri for privacy purposes. So I spoke to Dimitri and I was, you know, I always try to be as pleasant as possible to customer service representatives, even if I'm frustrated because it's not fun working in customer service and you want polite people, you want polite people. So again, I try to be polite as possible, but I explained the situation I'm like, hi, so I got this item. It's missing the wristlet strap. How do we proceed from here? Like, do you have the strap in stock somehow? And if you don't, what do we do? So he did put me on hold and actually, I guess, either checked or put me on hold to pretend that he checked. I'm not sure which one, but Dimitri, you know, put me on hold for uh, several minutes and then came back and said, I'm really sorry. They didn't have any more in stock, which I knew because Nordstrom told me, and that they didn't have the wristlet strap anywhere in the vicinity that he could find, which, okay, yeah, I mean, didn't expect him to. And so he had then talked to the manager and said that he had two options for me. One, I could simply return it and get a refund, get my money back, or I could accept a 10% discount 
because they would then mark the item as damaged and it would have been marked down in a sale or something and then I could get 10% off of the price. Like I'd get $75 essentially refunded to my card. And I was not completely against that. Many of you commented in the video that like the, the color was so hard to find and this item was so hard to find that if I got a discount, it, it would make sense to keep it and just get maybe a third party strap. And so I did consider getting the discount. I thought that, you know, okay, so 10% isn't a whole lot off, it's, but it's $75, so this would knock this item down to like 700-ish instead of 790-ish after tax. But I asked to think about it. I asked if I could call back a little bit later, like still, you know, right, basically same day and just like call back. And he said, that's fine. I'll make a note on your account. And when you call back, you can reference the note and just to say whether or not you decided to return it or get the, the discount. So I thought about it. I looked at all of your comments, of course. I talked to the friend of mine who <laughs> had purchased this in green and got it in gray, which was mentioned in my previous video. Again, it was a whole debacle. And we had talked about the fact that, and I mentioned this in my video too, that I had been planning on not only using it as a wristlet, but adding a crossbody strap so I could basically wear it as a walk. And that's the thing, like I had planned to wear it as a walk, like as a crossbody, but I did still really want the wristlet. I had purchased this in part because it was a wristlet actually, not just as a clutch. And that's because I, it's kind of silly, but I wanted it to be an option for when I was wearing bulkier coats and a crossbody didn't work over the coat or I didn't want to wear it under the coat. Wristlet is really handy because you can just dangle it from your wrist and then you don't have to worry about the coat. And I had been noticing that I was using my wristlets a lot in the winter and I thought that this was a really good color for that too. So I had been planning on purchasing this back in November so I could use it for the winter. That didn't happen obviously and then it didn't happen in January and it's a lot later in the, the year now and in the season but still I, I wanted to use this as a wristlet so I thought about it and I did ultimately decide that I could you know buy a third-party chain. She recommended it, a lot of you did recommend it, getting it in like a mostly matching silver hardware color and I could just attach it to the wristlet. I'd get $75 off the bag and then I could buy the chain for like 10 bucks or something so $65 off the bag and still at least get this color. Of course not having the wristlet makes the resale value of this plummet but I wasn't planning on reselling this. I like the color I was planning on keeping it so that doesn't super matter as much to me but again like I, I, I did debate but I had settled on, okay, well, maybe I can just get a third party wristlet strap and do do that and, and, and it'll be fine. I still am on the fence. One of you recommended calling the YSL outlet to see if they had this color in. And I think I still might do that actually. But for now, I did decide, okay, I will keep this. And in the event that I call the YSL and I have this in the right color and I can just buy it, I probably will do that. Nordstrom said that they would accept a return on this even after several months. Uh, so like, that's that's fine. I, I've heard about that from, from Nordstrom that they'll take returns after a while as long as it's in good condition and unused. And if I call the outlet today and I find out that there's a, you know, a, a color that I can, you know, so that's, it's an option, but I decided, okay, I'll take the 10%. So I called back. I called back and I got a different customer service representative. Let's call her Tiffany. And Tiffany didn't reference Dimitri's conversation with me at all. She just said, oh, we don't do discounts. You have to return it and get a refund or keep it, which I was confused about because I had been told by another customer service representative from the same store that I could get this discount. And she talked in circles for a while. It was kind of very frustrating. I mean, I, again, I tried to stay polite, but it was very like, hi, but what about what that you told me that I could? And eventually, you know, I just said, okay, I, please, I'd like to speak to a manager because she had like put me on hold and talked to the manager apparently, and then come back and said, no, no exceptions, no, no refund, no anything, no, no discount. I mean, just return it, get a refund. So I asked, okay, can I please speak to the, the manager, which, you, you know, sometimes you have to escalate and that's fine. Again, stay polite, stay calm, whatever. Okay. So I spoke to the manager then next call her Janice and Janice said like point blank. So I saw that you were talking to Tiffany. Tiffany is correct. You can't get a discount on this product. You can just return it. And here's the thing. Here's the thing. 
I remembered Dimitri's name, right? I remembered that he was the person I talked to, I remembered what he told me, and he specifically said that he had put something in a file about this order, because, you know, I used the order number, that I could get this discount. At this point, a 10% discount seemed like a l not very much for so much fuss, but I was sort of, I was determined to see this through at this point, because I was already talking to Janice on the phone. And so I was just like, okay, uh, Janice, so here's the thing. I talked to another person under your team. Do you know Dimitri? And she said yes. So I had a conversation with Dimitri, who said that I could get this 10% discount. And he said that he had made a note of it. So essentially, and I didn't say this exactly, but essentially I kind of was like, so is he lying or are you lying? Like, which one of you are, is not being honest with me here? <laughs> Again, like I didn't say that, but I was thinking it really loud in my head. And Janice said, oh yes, I can see your file now magically. And I can see that Dimitri did say that you can get a 10% off. Now I do want to say, and she got really kind of uh, snide, I guess. <laughs> she was not happy about being called out, I guess, even though I didn't, I didn't say it in like a ma bad manner or anything. I was just like, so Dimitri said that this was something that could be done. Why is it different now? please explain. So she was like, oh, well, we don't usually do this. And this is like an exception, I suppose. But yes, if you want to do this, we will honor the 10% off, which was kind of the kind of the vibe that I was getting for her. Well, we, we, we will do it this time just because you kicked up a fuss, but don't expect this kind of thing again. <sighs> okay. You know, customer service is hard. Retail is hard. I understand. Fine. Yes, thank you. I would just like the refund on my card. And then she said, kind of a little bit less brusquely, a little bit more nice, that if I did want to, at any point in time, return the item or exchange it for a different color, I could. It would be on my notes that, you know, this all happened and I could do that order number. So I'm like, okay. In the event that Nordstrom releases a new color in like six months that is as good as this one, you know, I can exchange it, I, I guess, if this isn't super used. I don't actually know how it works if I use this item, if I'm going to be able to exchange it. I don't know. I wasn't completely clear on that, but I don't expect that to happen unless they come up with this exact same color, because I really like this specific color with this silver hardware. YSL doesn't do silver hardware a lot. They haven't done it recently. So that's just, you know, something. So I did, okay, so I decided to keep it. I got the 10% off. I honestly, after all that fuss, like I was on the phone for 45 minutes, 45 minutes to get a discount that had already been told to me that could occur. That's a little bit too many. <laughs> That's a little bit too many. Like my time is worth more than 10% off of this item. But you know, again, I was determined to see it through. So I did because justice. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, so 10% off. And I had actually already had a long crossbody strap chain that I had bought for a coach bag a while back. And then I was able to pick up a wristlet strap chain in kind of the matching silver hardware from from Etsy for not very much. I mean, probably from a drop shipper, but like, I, you know, I didn't need 12 of these to buy it from myself. So, you know, I just got this off Etsy. And so I decided, you know, just to try it out because this is a, a beautiful piece. I was trying to do what fits. I was like styling it and I really do like it. I'm going to keep it obviously for a few more days. I'm still going to call the outlet and see what they say. But ultimately the decision was keep it. I have a few few dollars off. And I think maybe some of you will disagree with my decision, <laughs> which is valid. I understand 10% off is not a lot of money in, com in comparison, like in retro, not in retrospect. It isn't a lot of money, all things considered for, for this item and for what I ended up having to do. But okay, fine. That that's what I did. And I did really want this piece and this color. It's discontinued. So like, that's, that's like, I didn't want to return it. I really wanted to keep it. So I did. And, you know, thinking about it now, like with the whole thing with the mini Lou camera bag, I still really like that piece. Several of you have contacted me on Instagram, by the way, to let me know different places that are selling it, the, the mini Lou in this color. And I so appreciate it. I'm still debating whether or not I should buy the mini Lou in this color because I am keeping the, the wristlet now. And I did want the wristlet 
portion, you know? I'm gonna just show you what it looks like with the wristlet on so you actually get an idea of what it looks like. So I did, I, I'm obviously I'm keeping the wristlet, so I'm not sure about buying the mini loop camera bag also because I do have the beige one. And I, I don't know, I, I don't think there's anything wrong with having multiple bags in the same color because obviously you have people who have multiple black bags, I do, or multiple neutral bags or multiple pink bags. So, you know, I, I, it's just something I'm thinking about. But I did want to keep this, so I am keeping it. I actually, speaking of the Mini Lou, I have a video coming out soon that's like my review on having had the Mini Lou camera bag for a while with like what fits and also some cons. So I would suggest staying tuned for that and subscribe for more content. By the way, hit the notification bell if you wanna see more videos like this or more videos of me in the event that you want some quirkiness with your classic content. And a little aside, so this is it with the silver wristlet on and you know, it's just a little dangle and you can use it as a clutch. You can obviously take the wristlet strap off and use it as a clutch, considering that it didn't come with one. But yeah, so I really like it. And I'm going to do some mod shots of just this. Might not have worn the right outfit for matching this color, but I'm gonna do some mod shots with this and also some mod shots with the chain. And also really quick before I do the mod shots, I just wanna do a really quick what fits because one of the reasons I thought that this was such a good buy and I still do think that this type of clutch, this wristlet clutch from YSL is a good buy. I'll link several colors and a couple different styles down below for you because I found a few deals for a little bit less than current retail. And I believe also several YouTubers are having like 15% off or 10% off Farfetch code deals right now. So if you buy it from Farfetch, then you, you could potentially get 10 or 15% off these items. And that's pretty good, I think. 10% off for an item with an actual wristlet strap. Anyway, I digress. I'm gonna try to stop harping on this. So I wanna just show you a quick what fits because the nice thing about these bags is they are approximately the same size as the YSL actual wallet on chains, the actual walks that have a chain attached. These are about the same size, they really are. And so they fit the same amount, in fact, because the wallet on chains has a gusset in the middle and this particular item doesn't have a gusset, it's just open, this actually fits a little bit more, I think, because you can put wider things because the gusset cuts the space in half. YSL does this all the time on their bags, the collage bag, the Lulu line. They all have like a strip of material in the middle cutting the bag in half. And I really wish they didn't do that because I think that that is a design flaw and it cuts the capacity of the bag obviously in half and little rant. Anyway, so this is the bag and I just really wanna quick show you what fits. So I'm gonna actually just take the chain off now because the clinking would probably get annoying while I show you what goes inside. And so, I'm sorry, I'm not gonna switch the camera around. I just don't feel like it. <laughs> so this is the, the opening. And so I have a card holder and there is a slip pocket in the back. So I'm gonna just slip the card holder right in the slip pocket in the back, which you probably can't see because it's black inside there, but there it is. So card holder. Next is the phone. This is a Pixel 3. It is not an extra large phone, but you can see that an extra large phone probably fits just fine. And this phone is very bulky because it's got a large case and a backing on it. So that goes in just fine. And so phone, Louis Vuitton clay with keys in it. I'm gonna just lay that, I'm gonna stand that up on its side right there. And then a lipstick. Uh, this is a Laura Mercier lipstick in rose mauve and it's got a little bit of shine so I don't wear it very often but it's cute and so I'm gonna just sit that on sideways or horizontally rather so there we have it we have a card holder in the back slot we have my giant phone at the bottom we have a Louis Vuitton clay with keys and we have a lipstick and that all snaps absolutely with no problem and that doesn't even bulge out on the sides it is great so yeah like you want just like a little clutch or a wristlet or you again use this as a wallet on chain like that i think that fits a great amount so yeah i just i think it's really good so now i'm going to flip the camera around and show you some mod shots about it with the wristlet and then obviously with my my chain i didn't alter this at all obviously i just got it so i didn't add like a d-ring or anything on the side so i just kind of 
fudge it with, with adding the, the chain onto it. There's a channel with a touch of luxury, I believe is her channel name, Paula, and she has a video that was very popular. It was actually one of the first videos I saw of this type of bag, where she shows you how to use a chain and the wristlet strap itself to convert the bag into a crossbody. And I really like her method, so I use it just, you know, a little bit different because I have a chain wristlet strap now instead of a leather wristlet strap. Anyway, Ma Chat's time. All right, so here it is as, you know, a clutch or a wristlet with my little third party strap and it dangles really nicely. And I think it looks really good. I think that it sits really nicely, like it's a good proportion. And I, I just like it. I like that you can kind of dangle it and, and go. And I don't think that the chain strap looks bad. I do think that it doesn't match stylistically as well as the wristlet strap that it came with does, obviously. But I don't think it's bad. I do not mind it, but I, I really do wish that I had the leather strap because I think it would look a little bit more cohesive. But this is fine, especially if it's just like a throw on and go, you know, wristlet situation. I look like I'm swimming, never mind. So in terms of attaching the long crossbody strap, so this is the method that Paula used. And she used the, the strap itself with the, the chain. So I am going to take one part of the chain and I'm going to just attach it here to the, the wristlet strap or the D-ring. And then I'm going to take the other part of the chain and attach it to the middle of this, the wristlet strap. So obviously if you're using the leather version, it would be attaching to the middle of the leather one, but I'm just attaching it to a chain link in the, the wristlet strap that I have. So now that I have the chain attached to this part of the wristlet, the middle and this part, I'm going to lift up the flap and I'm going to loop the chain over and I'm going to just hold it like that and then close the bag. And there you have it. You have a longer train strap that's crossbody length. So there it is on the shoulder. And this is just like the height of my particular chain strap. Obviously you can get one in any size and any drop length, but that's what it looks like on the shoulder. And this is what it looks like crossbody. And I think that is really cute. I think it falls at a good length for this chain strap. I actually don't know how long this is. I think it's 100 centimeters or possibly 80 centimeters. But again, you can get any of these chain straps just like cut to whatever length you want on, I think I, think I found this on eBay, but like eBay, Etsy, whatever, you can get any of these from whatever time. So, you know, that's, that's what it looks like. And I think it's really cute. I think it sits really nicely. And the only thing that you have to be it's kind of like the wallet on chain the chanel wallet on chain if you like cross it underneath the loop to shorten the strap that way because obviously you, that's one of the ways that you can do it so the only thing you have to really be cognizant of is if you open the bag you can potentially have this fall up and then your bag kind of dangles that way but really from how i've been practicing with it like okay like look the it's open right now, the flap is open, and it's not falling. It's not like jiggle, 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 wiggle, wiggle. It's not falling out. So you open the flap all the way. I think as long as you're aware that it's there, you really shouldn't have a problem. Now, obviously, there are other ways that you can have a strap attached, like you could have a D-ring attached to the other side of the bag, like go to a, a leather surgeon or something, like you know, a leather surgeon, go to any place that works with leather. A cobbler, that's the word I'm trying to think of. Go to a cobbler or something, they can add a, you know, a D-ring pretty easily. There are also people who get inserts. I actually, my friend actually sent me an insert that she had purchased in preparation for getting the green bag. And I did, you know, get it from her. I, I she was very kind to send it to me, but it's actually too big. So I, I didn't use it and it took up a lot of space inside the bag. So I didn't particularly want to use the insert, but it also didn't fit well uh, uh, width wise. So this is, you know, this is a method that I think works pretty well. And yeah, I have, I have no complaints about how this works as a converted crossbody. So yeah. All right, so here I am back again from this angle. And I also just really wanted to quick show you a comparison between this and the Chanel wallet on chain. So this is the Chanel wallet on chain. And you'll see that the YSL clutch is actually a little bit taller and the height really makes a difference because you can stack stuff in a way that you can't stack them with the, the walk, the Chanel walk. And the width, so you'll see here that the Chanel wad on chain is a little bit wider 
than the YSL clutch. So I'd say that they're they're pretty comparable. They're pretty uh, comparable in terms of size. Obviously, I'm not going to talk about quality comparison because these are vastly distant price points. I actually do want to make a video comparing pebbled leather between different brands like YSL pebbled leather, the Chanel caviar leather, and the Coach pebbled leather, the, the grain leather. I really think that that would be an interesting video. If you'd be interested in that, leave me a comment down below. But I also do want to mention like right off the bat that there's really no comparing Chanel and YSL in terms of quality. That's I don't want to call it silly, but it's a little bit silly because again, they're incredibly different price points and vastly different brands. So if you buy a YSL hoping that it'll be like a stand-in for a Chanel bag, you'll probably be disappointed because again, the quality is different. And if you want a Chanel and you buy a YSL instead, you're going to still want the Chanel, if, if that makes sense. But if you buy YSL because you like YSL, because you like the logo, because you like the color, the shape, the style, the quality of YSL, then I think that that's a really good buy. Like that's why you should buy YSL because you like it for YSL, not because it's a Chanel stand-in. Uh, obviously do whatever you want. And if you're buying YSL because you want to buy it instead of Chanel, or if you're buying YSL because it's a better price point than Chanel, like obviously that's valid, but the quality and the make of these items are different. Uh, obviously, I, I, you know, like, almost $3,000 under 800. It's, it's not a comparison. But I do think it'd be interesting to compare at least the, the leathers themselves, just to kind of show you different leathers throughout different price points and different brands. I think that would be kind of fun. And I also do want to compare the leather on this, the pedal leather on this, to my Mini Lou camera bag, because those are actually slightly different leathers. They're slightly different feels, and also I believe a little bit different quality. That makes sense. I mean, the, the Mini Lou is literally double the price of this clutch, and it makes sense that this is a less expensive item. So the production would also be, you know, in more inexpensive. But that, that's a, a different video, a video for another day, that this video was obviously about this saga, about this wristlet clutch item. And I hope that you enjoyed. I would love to hear your opinions about what went down or whether or not you think that I made the right choice or if you think I made the wrong choice. Like I'm open to hearing about that too. I still have a little bit of time to return it or, or like forever, I guess, if Nordstrom continues on with their policy. I don't know. But at this point, I am planning to keep it. So I just wanted to update you on that whole ordeal. <laughs> Okay, everyone. So I have a, a very interesting slash kind of silly update about the ongoing debacle about me attempting to get this, this wristlet in this color, specifically this wristlet in this color, the Greenfield color. It's going to elude me, but all right. So, so here's the updated story. So I said that I was going to keep it, you know, as I, as I said earlier in this video, that I was going to keep the wristlet and just take the 10% discount. But then uh, a viewer actually DM'd me on Instagram and said that she worked for Nordstrom and that her Nordstrom, last year remembered, had the clutch. And <laughs> wow, okay, so first of all, thank you so much for reaching out and everybody who ever reaches out to me with information or, you know, chatting or help or questions, like I always super appreciate that. It's so fun. We have such a great community. I so appreciate all of you. But yeah, so she reached out to let me know that the Nordstrom had one in stock. So it was a three hour time difference. So I had to wait, so I called and I did call and I spoke to a very nice SA who did check. And unfortunately they did have the Greenfield color, but in the walk style, not the wristlet. And the thing is, it's so silly. I know, I understand, but I really want it in the wristlet. And it's not even a price thing. I just want a wristlet uh, for, the, for the reasons I mentioned, I want a wristlet option. So the, the walk was, was nice, but it, it wasn't what I wanted. So. Uh, I said thank you and hung up. I had a commenter on my video, my previous video, also suggest contacting the outlets because they said that they've seen the Greenfield color in the outlets, which makes sense because it's a discontinued color now, right? So that's what I did. I then contacted the Woodbury Commons outlet to ask and they didn't have the Greenfield in anything but like a Lulu puffer, I think the person said. And they did have the clutch in the teal with silver hardware, or so we thought it then had actually sold. So um, that was a no-go too, unfortunately. I called the other outlet that I know of, uh, I believe it's the one in Texas, and they didn't have anything in the Greenfield, unfortunately. So 
also a no-go. And then, you know, I decided I have been on the phone for altogether too long in the pursuit of this wristlet, but to quote myself earlier, I am now on a quest. I am on a mission to see how far I can go to try to track this down. And I don't have a St. Laurent in my state, so I just called the closest one. So I called Chicago. And so I called the Chicago St. Laurent and <laughs> I spoke again to a very lovely SA who asked for the style number and I had to go to the website to check and I gave it to her. And absolutely nothing against her. She was very lovely. It's just that she kind of got my hopes up a little bit because she said, oh yes, we don't have it in yet, but it's coming in because it's a 2022 spring summer color. And I was a little bit confused. I was very happy, but I was confused because obviously it wasn't a 2022 color. And after a little bit more talking back and forth, she realized that we were talking about different colors. So what she ended up doing though, she gave me her number and asked me to text her a picture of the actual wristlet in the color that I wanted, the green field. And then she said that she would then just check the US stock that Saint Laurent has and try to like do some digging to see if she could track it down for me. So I so appreciate it. She was very, she was so kind. Everybody who I spoke to today was, you know, very kind, very polite, very courteous in terms of me going, hi, I have a very strange request, but I'm looking for a specific item. I want the mixed matalasse envelope clutch in the greenfield color with silver hardware. Do you have it? So anyway, so the SA in Chicago is now checking for me. I, you know, I got her number. I texted her back with the color. She said she look, I very much appreciate it. Even if she doesn't turn up anything, I still appreciate it. And I appreciate everybody I've spoken to about this in my journey to find this clutch in the color that I want. And if I do end up tracking it down somehow, then I would return it to Nordstrom. I'm, I'm not going to use it now. I, I've decided I'm not going to use the clutch for at least a, a little bit longer while I attempt to do this search. And then if I do find it somewhere else, I'd, I'd return it to Nordstrom. And obviously I would want to return it to Nordstrom undamaged and unused. So aside from the try on thing I did, which I really didn't do anything and put some stuff in it. And that's all I did. There's nothing else I've done with the clutch and I'm not going to wear it out or anything. And I haven't yet. So I think that it would be okay to return it. And I guess wish me luck, wish me luck in this continued endeavor. And I will update you when I have more updates. Okay, everybody, last update. The essay from YSL got back to me. Unfortunately, there is no stock she checked and I really appreciate it, but I'm out of luck. She suggested actually checking the pre-love market, which I understand, but she also said to reach out to her in the event that I had anything else that I was interested in, in, you know, YSL. And I, again, I really appreciated her efforts. So it was nice to, you know, have a connection and she, I will absolutely reach out to her in the event there's something I am looking for in the future. But that is the end of my saga. It looks like I'm keeping the wristlet from Nordstrom at this time, getting the 10% off. I will use that third party strap. And, you know, it was an effort and a half and this makes an interesting tale. And, you know, that's, that's okay. Having a, having a, having a story is always fun. And yeah, I'm a little bit bummed that I don't have the wristlet strap. I don't have the full complete package, but at least I do have the color and that's kind of what I wanted the most. So yeah, again, if you disagree with my decision or you have a suggestion or have a different place for me to reach out to, feel free to leave me a comment down below. I always appreciate your input. And in any case, thank you for watching. If you did like this video, thank you so much. And please do give it a like. It super duper helps the algorithm and I would really appreciate it. And subscribe for more content that helps the algorithm even more. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.